What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Pro From Pro Review. Today I have another gaming headset. This time it is the Afterglow headset. I'm sure all of you guys have seen these in like your local Best Buys or I don't even know if Walmart sells it, but uh, you know it is a 5.1 surround sound headset. It is all wireless, digital sound, quick charge, and display stand. It all comes with, has like these crazy colored uh, ear cups. It is PS4 um, compatible, Dolby Digital. Uh, what else do we got here on the outside of the box? Um, looks like it comes with some sort of stand. And just to let you know, it is a digital sound processing, quick charge, display stand, and easy setup. It looks like it has three different audio functions that right there on the side, if you can uh, check that out. So let's get this thing open, let's see what's inside of it. To be honest with you, when I saw this headset for $200, I thought, ugh, why is this thing $200? It doesn't look like it's worth $200. But I figured I would pick it up and uh, do an unboxing for you guys anyway. So first thing in the box, we got the optical cable. It's always nice. You don't have to supply your own. Second thing we got here is some instructions. PS4. Oh, they do label everything. So PS4 chat cable. Got some more cables in here. Looks like I got all the audio cables that you'll need right there for a computer, headset, all that kind of good stuff. PS4 chat cable, another PS4 chat cable, don't know why I didn't send you two, but it doesn't matter. Let's get the box out of the way. Got this like egg crating here. Uh, let's get this apart. Alright, so there we go. Inside we have the headset and the stand. I'm going to put the stand on the side for right now. Here's the headset. First thing I notice is it looks a little weird. Uh, it is made out of plastic you see right there you got like these clear ear cups so you can see through them you see like the little board you got the afterglow on the top have the uh i feel that doesn't feel too bad it actually feels nice now these on the other hand i can already tell i'm not gonna like it feels cheap and crappy to be honest with you um you know for 200 dollars, damn they could have given you something a little bit better than that i it's kind of weird. It has like a little pocket. I feel like your like ear is supposed to actually kind of go like inside there. Who knows? I haven't tried them. I'm kind of being, uh, you know, skeptical of it. On the one side, we got it looks like charging cable where you can plug in all of your stuff, and also have like the volume rocker right there. I believe that's uh, focusing just fine for you. First feel though, definitely feels uh, a little cheap. I'm not exactly sure though. I haven't tried them on clearly. Have a pull-out mic right there. That is very short pull-out mic. Uh, not whoop, looks like I turned it on or something. Uh, it is flexible. Okay. Um, it also has these little pieces that the wires run through here. Other than that, uh, for a wireless headset, not too bad. About medium. Let's get this thing. Get the plastic off of it. All right, whatever. I need to get all the plastic. This looks like the stand. Uh, has digital input, has a little button here, has looks like a Dolby light right there on the on the top. Uh, on the bottom, just got the little rubber feet. And on the back, you got your line in, your USB, your power, and your optical in. So we're going to hook this thing up, guys. We're going to do a mic test. I'm going to give you guys a full review. Hang tight. All right, so I'm attempting to do a mic test on this thing to see how it sounds so you guys can tell how other people would hear you uh, on the other side of Skype. I'm not super impressed with this headset much at all, but uh, we'll see how this mic test goes and kind of give you guys uh, an idea of how it sounds. So, All right, welcome back to the last part of the video. Um, this is where I just wrap up, do a conclusion, pros, cons, that kind of thing, if I think it's worth it, all that kind of good stuff. So you heard the mic test. It's bah. It's okay. It's not that great. It's not you know terrible. Does it work? Yes. Um, does it work good? No. So after using the headset, for $200, um, <clears throat> I would definitely say that you could get a better buy for the $200. Take that $200, put it into like Astro A40s, even like save some money, get the Logitech G930s if you really wanted like a wireless headset. But you can definitely get a better bang for your buck, whether it be the A40s, A50s, or um, any other wireless headset, to be honest with you, like the Turtle Beach Z300s. They're just more comfortable than this headset. Uh, the mics are better and... Um, as far as usability, uh, it, it's a lot better as well. The headset works. If you're, you know, just buying a first-time headset for two hundred dollars, I would just take the money, put it somewhere else. Uh, as far, you know, 
as far as sound quality, it was okay. It wasn't that bad. It, it, it was all right. But uh, comfort, like I couldn't wear these things more than like 20 minutes, 30 minutes without it irritating my ears for the lack of like cushions. Like I know it looks like it has like some cushions, but you see they barely push down at all before you hit the plastic. And on the inside, the back of the cushion is thicker than the front of the cushion. So I think they make it so your ear's supposed to like kind of like fit in there, even though it doesn't work that well. The design isn't that well. The plastic here just feels cheap. Uh, and even the buttons here on the side and the light up felt cheap. Did the wireless work? Yes, it did. Uh, it comes with the stand. Yes, that worked good. The surround sound sounded fine, uh, but it did not sound, uh, the bass didn't sound really, really nice like it does in other headsets. Overall, I would just take your money, put it somewhere else personally, uh, especially if you uh, are just looking for like a first time headset or you just want a wireless headset at all. Take the money, put it somewhere else, kind of skip out on this for now. This is Afterglow's first headset. doesn't mean that they're always going to put out a headset like this, but um, I would definitely just take the money and put it somewhere else for right now. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. I know I didn't go into crazy detail on this, but I think I kind of just wrapped up uh, how I feel about it and um, what I think the Afterglow should change. They need to change their ear cups. They need to change so your ears don't touch the inside of the drivers here. They need a better, longer boom mic. Uh, and they need it, this thing should not be two hundred dollars. This thing should be like a hundred bucks. So thanks for tuning in. Um, leave a comment below if you guys have any questions. Thanks.